The root of all problems in your body comes down to one word, toxins. And all of yoga is designed to flush out these toxins from your body. Am I right, Usha? Yes, actually toxins are just infiltrating everything these days. It's then your water, it's then the food, you know. It's also then the air you breathe. So you just can't uh, help it. There will be toxins flowing in your blood. So what you have to do is keep doing those dynamic yoga postures and that's how you get rid of them and flush them out of your system. What actually happens is between the intercellular space, uh, these toxins go and lodge themselves. And when enough toxic material collects in a particular spot, it becomes pain. You feel intense pain in that region of your body. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do, and it becomes hard and rigid also. Yeah. So what you have to do is stretch it, pull it, work it out. And then all these toxins get mobilized and get into your bloodstream and flow out and get naturally. eliminated naturally. Right. Yeah. So this is happening in any case in your body. But since the onslaught of toxins is so high, you need to keep doing some form of actually ideally doing yoga because it really pulls and stretches every part of your body. And more than anything else you have to do dynamic asanas for this, right? Yeah. We have both dynamic and static postures which have different roles. The dynamic ones mobilize these toxins and get them out of the way. And the static postures really help to strengthen and uh, increase the uh, strength of a muscle. Right. Yeah. So what we have today are dynamic and static poses for your legs. So we're going to start with uh, an asana called Vyagrasana mm -hmm. in which you have to come onto your knees and hands and knees onto your fours. So let's do it. Yeah, let's start. Placing your hands like this, yeah. raise up your right leg, point the toe, tighten up the muscle, bend the knee and then take it down, bring your head down and take it up. Keep moving like that. So when you're moving your body like this in a very dynamic fashion, what is really happening is all the muscles in the back, the legs and the abdomen and even the neck are getting absolutely intense heat and workout. Right. Am I right? So now we're going to do the static version of this in which you go onto your paws and you raise one leg and point the toe and just hold. Like this? Straight, yeah. Just hold. When you're just holding a posture as well, the intensity of the work is huge. It looks like you're just holding something in, immovable, but what's actually happening is all the muscles are taking the load of that posture. To just hold it up there against the flow of gravity, you need a lot of strength in those muscles. Come back. And obviously you have to repeat this on both sides to make both your legs equally powerful. So not only did you do the dynamic version, but you held the posture so, so you, you did the static. The strength part as well. Right. So let's do another posture called Santolanasan, which is for your shoulders. So that last one was for your legs, this is for your hands. All right. You have to st uh, come onto your fours with your hands and stretch your feet back. And take one arm up. That's right. And now you have to keep switching your hand at a quite a fast rate for the dynamic version of this. The entire muscle structure of the shoulders and the arms is getting a huge workout and a lot of heat is generated and all the muscles are st repeatedly stretched and held and now just hold the posture on any one side. You can take this arm up sideways and just hold the posture.